right, so here we are with our paper mache demo. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, this is sort of what I'm starting with. So paper mache is a really good way of, um, you can sort of build up a shape with, um, this is just like a backing of cardboard and then this is like crumpled up pieces of paper that I have taped. So hopefully you guys can tell that this is supposed to be like some lips. Um, but so paper mache is a really good way of adding sort of um, non-geometric form. So sort of rounded forms are much easier using paper mache than sort of building with uh, cardboard because then you just have really sort of hard surfaces. So um, I sort of prepped this and I will show you guys how to cover this with paper mache and then also um, so you can sort of build some sort of shape, a basic shape first and then cover it with a paper mache um, or you can use sort of a pre-made form. So I'm gonna be trying to cover this um, with the paper mache and then hopefully it'll pop off of this can um, and then be sort of a form that's cylinder form. Um, so the supplies for paper mache are super basic. Um, this is just white flour, any kind of flour will do and then some water. Um, and then something to sort of stir it up with. And there's not like a very, I actually might have, need to get a little bit more water. Um, there's not like a, I'm sure you can find a specific recipe online. Um, but I also just eyeball it. So you, there's like a specific consistency that you want. Um, I'm gonna actually dump a little bit of this out because I think I have too much flour here. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some water to that. Um, and then I can add more flour if I need to. Paper mache can be kind of a messy thing, so make sure you're doing it on a surface, like either cover a surface or make sure that it's a surface that you can kind of get, get messy. You could do it outside or something like that too. All right, so you can kind of see, I just have this sort of thick paste. A little bit thinner would be fine too, but you don't really want it much thicker than that. Um, and like, you know, a few lumps in there, so that's totally fine too. There's nothing, um, super, super specific, but this is going to act as the glue for, um, your paper mache. So actually this a little bit. Okay. So, um, and then the other thing you want are, um, strips of paper, um, Newspaper works really good. This is like a newsprint paper, so it's like a similar thickness of um, of paper. I also have some strips of just um, copy paper. This is a little bit, a little thicker. So the thicker the paper it is, it's gonna be have a harder time sort of bending smoothly, but really any type of paper you can use. But if it's sort of like a tissue paper or something like that, that will work um, well also. So, um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this, I think. You're just gonna dip your paper into this and kind of cover it with the glue. So this is all acting as a glue, so you can see that there. Um, kind of dip it in and then you wanna remove the excess. So you don't need a whole lot on there. Um, and then you just start sort of layering. So um, I'm gonna wrap it around there and then sort of making sure that those edges are starting to form um, around your object. So try and get one layer. And you wanna do multiple layers. Um, and then if you really want like a really strong object, then you'll want to let it dry in between layers and then do like another layer. And so I'm just kind of wrapping it around um, and then smoothing out those areas. Um, 
the sort of the thickness of your strips of paper matters too. So if you're doing something really small and delicate, um, you'll probably want thinner strips of paper so that you can kind of be, get a little bit more specific with um, your edges and sort of those contours. Um, and if you're doing something like more basic, something like this, then you could really use much thicker strips of paper. Um, so just depending on what shape you're making there. Um, and then as you go around, if you notice like the shape isn't quite doing what you want, you can always add, sort of add like a bit of paper here. Um, let's see if you can, so you can kind of just like crumple that up and build up that way too. So sort of like adding to the form as you go. So you kind of keep just going. I would do like a couple of layers on the first round um, before you set it and let it dry. And then if you wanna do another layer, you can. It's kind of nice to do another layer after it's dry because you can get a little bit more, like you can sort of smooth things out a little bit better. Um, so I'm just gonna help and pause and I'll keep working and then I will come back and show you guys how it's going. <laughs> 